Let's make one preset for the entire brass family. You can download this preset along with 149 other useful presets in my pack called Sounds You Know. The link for that's in the description. So to get started, let's initialize preset and let's go to the wavetable editor by clicking this little pencil icon. Hover over the first harmonic here, right click and clear right. Now we just have this sine wave. Let's increase this amplitude by clicking and dragging up. Click on add modifier and go down to wave warp. Now in the second row that opened up, go to the end, right click and create keyframe. Where it says X warp, click on zero and raise that up to 20. Click the X to go back and let's assign macro one to the wavetable position. Now let's hear this wavetable. So let's label this macro timbre, and let's go to the ADSR. Add some attack time, click on this dot here and raise it to change the shape of the attack. Then double click the attack time to return it to its default value, which is a little bit more than zero. Click macro two and drag that over. Right click on macro two, and let's set that to 0.39. Then let's change the maximum value here. The modulation amount is 0.5. Now let's drag envelope one over to wavetable position and hear that. Now that's really brassy, let's reduce it. So right click on that modulation amount and enter 80. So now it starts to sound a little bit like a French horn. Now we can change the timbre, or rather the starting point of our wavetable position here with macro one, and it becomes brassier. So I'm gonna enter the value 0.43, and it's starting to sound more like a trumpet. So open up filter one, we're gonna cut out some of those highs. Set the resonance to 10. Drag the cutoff all the way down, we're gonna control that with macro three. So swing over macro three, right click that. And let's set macro three to 0 0.4916. Now let's label macro three, low pass cutoff. Now that sounds pretty dull, but we're gonna add some brightness with envelope one. So now envelope one is gonna modulate the cutoff from here. So it's a little too bright, but instead of reducing it here, let's just set this value to zero and modulate it with a macro. So let's bring over macro four. Now let's set the maximum amount here on this modulation to 48 semitones. And let's set the amount of macro four to 0 0.5. And let's label this pluck. So now because of this modulation, the cutoff is moving up 24 semitones with every note. So now let's add a little bit more realism. Let's use LFO one to add a little pitch envelope. So I'm gonna change the shape to saw up. I'm gonna change the grid to two. I'm gonna lower this maximum value over here to the middle point. Then I'm gonna right click, excuse me, uh, sh hold shift and click and drag this over to the fine pitch of oscillator one. Then I'm gonna change this mode to envelope. And let's hear this. So you can hear the little scoop up, but we want this to be a lot faster. So click on the unit, select seconds. Let's set this to 0 0.2. We can make this a little bit more realistic by changing the shape. So click and drag this up. So 
So one thing about brass instruments is the timbre isn't consistent from low register to high register. So we can emulate that by dragging note over to timbre. And I want uh, high notes to have a lower timbre value and low notes to have a higher timbre value. So I'm going to set this to a negative number. Let's set this to negative 0 0.36. Then let's go over to the matrix here. I don't want this to be completely linear. I want there to be a point at which this kicks in. And I want that point to be at about uh, B flat 2, I think it is. So this note here. So set your X grid to 15. <clears throat> then double click on the left side of this midpoint here. And on the fourth line, drag that all the way down. So you can see C right there, then D above it. And then B flat's right behind this dot right here. So now, everything below that B flat will have the same timbre. Then, as the notes get higher, the timbre value will decrease. And I also want to bend this. So, change this uh, Y unit here to 6. And then let's increase this to 4 6, right about there. So now let's hear some of the higher notes. The timbre value should be lower. So it sounds a little bit more realistic. Now I want to do one more modulation with timbre. So drag timbre over to the resonance of our filter. And let's change the mod uh, remap here for this as well. So go to matrix and make sure you're on macro one, filter one resonance. And for this one, let's set the uh, Y value to five. And then we're going to set this maximum value here to the third line, so three fifths. Then drag this middle point up to two fifths, and that should be about right. Now you'll see, and hopefully here, um, lower notes will have a higher resonance, and then higher notes should have a lower resonance. And that resonance should max out at about 60%. Alright, so let's add in some reverb. Let's go to the effects. Let's put in, a, excuse me, a reverb. There it is. Let's set the time to about 1.75 seconds. I'm going to increase the size to about 60. And let's set the mix to about 35. It's a little quiet, so I'm going to add some volume. So now we're almost done. Now, to make this patch work for any brass instrument, basically, you just need to change the frequency and the timbre. Because the difference between brass instruments, like let's say a French horn uh, and a trumpet, is the size and shape. So this is going to control your size, and this is going to control your shape. Uh, so for example, uh, trombone. <laughs> will have kind of a high timbre value. And if I lower this down all the way, it sounds more like a euphonium. Now if I go up an octave, so let's raise this 12 semitones, it kind of sounds like a French horn. If I want a trumpet, I raise this quite a bit. So you have a lot of flexibility there just changing the register and changing the timbre uh, will help you emulate just about any brass instrument. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.